Hey guys, welcome back. I'm Lucy Brito and this is Firewatch. Some more. Some more Firewatch. Um, creepy things are happening. Uh, there's some shenanigans going on. There's a secret military installation. They're spying on people. Someone hit me with stuff. And then they took my notes on them. Or they took the notes from me that I'd found that they had taken on me. And Deli Delilah. Del yeah, Delilah. I have a friend named Aaliyah, so it's very hard to. Anywho, <laughs> uh, we're gonna we're gonna get back into it here and uh, find out what the hell is going on. This is supposed to be a simple job. Oh, that's right. I remember now. Uh, we're, we're we're there's some code words going on here, and Delilah wants me to look at this poster. Okay, yeah, it's up. Why are you acting like this? Great. Just wonderful. Do you see the tree in the top row, second from the left? Sure. It's the, uh... No. You don't need to tell me. Just, um, internalize it. it it's a great tree. And there's an area called, um, that tree's name in your sector that maybe you should take a midday hike to. Okay. Maybe. Oh. Uh, yeah. Okay. Um, maybe I should go for a hike. Nothing like an afternoon in the Rockies, I tell ya. Radio me the moment you get there. I can put it back. <laughs> Sorry. I'm gonna put that in my pocket. Grab the pack. It's rock and roll. Grab, grab. There we go. Whatever. Oh, get open. That. Okay. Okay. Uh, first, we need to figure out where Cottonwood Creek is. Look at all that. Maps looking fancy. Cottonwood Creek is. Oh. Okay. It's head south again. Throw the fire break. Gotcha. Alright, so, uh, a lot of weird stuff going on. Like. Oh. Uh, this way. You know, I really didn't think this game would be, uh, give me the heebie jeebies. I thought it would just be, a, you know, a good story about this dude and his path to getting over the loss of, or semi loss of his wife. And, uh, finding himself? By losing himself. It's so deep. Let me go this way. I can't go this way. Um. But yeah, I didn't expect, uh... This, this shenanigans. Can I just walk in the water? That's so much faster. I think I have to go this way. But that's cool. I mean, it's it's unexpected. Uh, adds a little bit of tension uh, instead of just a, a a story about a sad guy meeting some woman on the radio, falling in love with her, which I'm pretty sure they both are, because that's what people do. I mean, that's the only people they talk to. Stockholm syndrome. Look at that tree. That's a neat picture. I'm sure everyone's taking that picture. Uh, take my map. I know I'm in the right place, but yeah, we're good. Keep trying to shift to run. So you're wondering why my radio keeps popping up. It's because shift is the button for radio. And you know you can tell these are cottonwoods because of this stuff here, the fluffy stuff. It's like cotton. I don't know if it is actually cotton, but it looks like it. it gets everywhere, it's all over Georgia. Okay, so I'm here. Just 
there like a specific place I need to go to? Because I'm all up in Creek. All up in Creek. That makes sense. Hmm. I head to the cache, I guess. That's north, which, uh... Sun's over there, the north is this way. Ah, there we go. Uh, I'm here at Cottonwood Creek. You see the cash box there? Uh, it must be around here somewhere. It is. Find it and open it. I changed the code. It's 5678. Are you kidding me? <laughs> I was in a rush. I've got it now. Good. I spent all day getting you that radio. <laughs> I hiked to a cash box, lied to a ranger, lied to another ranger, and hopefully you are now holding a clean, untapped radio. Hopefully. Holy fuck, Henry. We have to get into that site. Tell me everything right now. All of it. You know what's going on, and you're going to tell me right this minute. Why would you think I know what the hell well, is going on? That. I, I snuck out in the middle of the night and figured out how to get you a new untapped radio because, because what, I'm fucking with you? The most important thing, Henry, is that we don't turn on each other. Maybe, maybe you're not real. Maybe I'm losing my mind. What? Julia, maybe it's happening to me and, and I'm imagining that I have a boss out here and that we're being spied on. Henry. Maybe there was something in the water or our condo was underneath some power lines and and you Delilah you're not real Henry Henry think about her if what happened to her were happening to you you wouldn't even be able to realize it okay Henry sweetie I am real and this is happening I'm as real as the sky is blue take a second and then call me back I'm on your side I like this. Okay, I'm all right. I'm uh, I'm headed towards the site. Good. Keep your head up. Okay, so we can just uh, bus north, pass the cash. Then we'll go west and north from the lake. Okay, okay. Well, I need to go back this way. So this is crazy, man. I like I like that she went sneaking out. And can I go this way? Yeah, I think I can. I didn't even get to go fishing or look for bear tracks. Oh, I don't think I can go this way. Shit. You lied to me, Matt. Oh, because I'm dumb. Move, tree. I'm confused. Aha. Uh -huh. Here we go. Trusty compass, lead me the way. Hey, uh, I just thought of something not, um, not great. What is it? I filed a report that said that neither of us ever talked to or saw those girls, the ones that went missing a few weeks back. Oh, shit. My thoughts, exactly. Our radios were tapped. And now, someone probably has a transcript of that entire conversation. And I've filed a report that's a blatant lie. Oh, and those girls are still missing. Yep. Fuck, Delilah. Fuck. 
work indeed. We really need to get to the bottom of this. Can I not explain this? Stonehenge. Alright, whatever. Keep going this north. Uh, I need to go left a little bit. Oh, medicine wheel. Okay. Whatever. I'm sure that makes sense. Go this way, yes. I guess here. I guess I could check the map again. Yep. Man. It's a pretty sunset right there. Old campfire. Here I could maybe go fishing. Can I swim? No. I wonder. Let me just see here. Let's see here. I was hoping to find my fishing pole. There's notes, 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 notes. Oh. Anywho. Never did get to fish. Or find bear tracks. here. I might be going the wrong way. It yeah, kind of. Oh, did I get in this spike ash? Yeah, I did. Still, I kind of would like to find bear tracks. I don't know like I'll be finding any bear tracks. Lots of ducks. I think this is the right way. Yeah, this is the right way. Hello again, fence. I'm busting the gate down. There's nobody around, and it's the quickest way in. Copy that. <sighs> I smashed open the gate. Should I try to fix or hide this? No, screw it. Okay, then. Whoa! Ow! Come on, 
equipment is under purview of Cat Fernand. Remember those controlled area and issues, malfunctions, or violations should be reported immediately. I got stung by a bee. Okay. <laughs> is, is that it? Yeah. Did it did it hurt? Yes, kind of. Okay, I'm I'm sorry. <laughs> I love how it gets just dark enough to make this place even more creepy. That place isn't really creepy. It's just the the atmosphere. Cause now I'm where I shouldn't be. Okay, I'm at the site. I don't see anybody around. Lucky for us. Yeah, lucky for us. D, there is some serious comms equipment out here. Wireless stuff. What do you mean? I'm talking a big, 20-foot-tall transmission tower. And they could probably listen to whoever the hell they want. They're nestled down in this valley, which makes it impossible for you or any lookout to see them. Standing right next to it, talking on the radio, probably isn't helping. What's that? Alright, looks like a. Oh, they're doing something with the soil out here, too. It's all gridded off. Uh, who knows what else they're up to? And there are all sorts of contraptions and shit out here. Like what? Dishes and stuff on metal legs. They're wires all over the place. I don't know. I'm not really up on high tech. I mean, how the hell did they get all this stuff out here? The Army Corps of Engineers put our towers out here, so... You think it was the government? I have no idea. I, I just mean it's possible. I mean, every once in a while I'll need a lookout who's deep into that, like, black helicopter conspiracy shit. Maybe they actually flew it out here in one of those. Uh oh I'm in their main tent. Oh, I just I wonder where they are. All, all of their stuff is here. And they know you're there, so see what you can find and get out. I'm in their main tent. What's it like? It's definitely some sort of monitoring station. I found their main monitoring desk. Oh my god, what do you see? Seriously, at this stage, I'd believe just about anything. There's some sort of monitor. I don't know what it does. Maybe air quality or something? Maybe they're keeping data on everything that could impact our moods. That looks possible. This is crazy. I mean, this stuff looks like it just got lifted out of the space shuttle. I have to tell you, if I found out this was NASA, I'd be a hell of a lot happier. Okay, shit. Got another clipboard here that confirms that they're tracking our movements. The log they've got tracks the movement of four subjects. You and me? Uh, yeah, definitely me. And I suppose you too. What about the other two? Maybe the Goodwins? What if they were following them last summer? God, Henry, I don't know. If they were, there's no way Brian knew. He would have said something. I can't imagine a kid like that could have kept this under his hat. We'll talk this over and figure out how to get the hell out of here. They've got a map with all sorts of paths and areas marked out on it. There are lines that look like some of the paths I normally take. Are you positive it's you? Uh, some of their descriptions seem like uncharitable ways of describing me, yeah. The desk in here is a mess. I mean, it's, it's like someone was in a rush or knocked a bunch of stuff over on accident. Can't clear it away. Come on. Clear it away. Clear away the... This place sleeps three. They've got a row of cots here. So they live and work in the same tent? Yeah, it's all one operation. <laughs> like us. Yeah, like us. Can I clear away this mess? I don't know why. 
I bet there's some relevant shit underneath there. Uh, there's a couple things about this game I noticed with the, uh... Just detecting you, or where you're standing, it doesn't work very well sometimes. I guess I can't clear it away? Do I need a broom? I don't know. Ah, oh, man. I think I found the thing they used to track us. Oh, shit! You know, you swear, like, a lot. <laughs> Not the time, Hank. Anyway, it's called a wave receiver. Looks like it picks up anything that emits a signal. It's got basic orienteering capabilities, everything. Holy... Holy shit, Henry? Yeah, holy shit. You're gonna take it, right? Yeah, of course. Hold on. Ah. Uh oh. Are you shitting me? What? What is it? There's a folder of reports here. What do they say? They're sorry. Assessments about the two of us. There's stuff in here about Julia. Like what? Stuff I didn't tell you. This is... What, what does it say about me? You said there was one about me. And it looks like they've been following me around. What I do when I'm out hiking? Jesus! Henry, do you hear me? You have a boyfriend, Javier? What the fuck? Wish you hadn't left that out? I don't! I, I didn't! This is insane! I'm so sick of letting these people do this to us. We should just burn the place down! Or think about it! Yeah. Fuck them. They'll dump an ocean of water on it, and these assholes will spend the rest of the summer picking up the pieces. We get to finish out our contracts. <laughs> Hell, we'll even call in the fire. Yeah, okay. You don't sound too excited about that. I'm not. Look, worst case scenario... A firefighter dies trying to put out what we started, and we live with that on our conscience for the rest of our lives. <sighs> Yeah. Worst case. Well, maybe it's not the best idea. Yeah, it's definitely not the best idea. Ah, I'm so fucking wound up! It's alright. I'm just gonna hike back. We have the wave receiver, and tomorrow we can figure out what to do. So, this is even weirder now. Definitely creepy. I have a feeling that something bad's gonna happen between here and Two Forks. Otherwise, they would have just started me back at Two Forks. Oh shit. Whoa. Whoa. Oh shit. Oh shit. Um, Delilah, there's smoke coming from the site. I, mean, I just climbed out of there and the bridge collapsed. What the hell happened to you? It's definitely not the best idea. It wasn't me. <sighs> what do we do? We just call it in like any other fire. Who started it? What about them? Uh, the person who started it? Yeah. We're talking about people watching us out here who are now burning the forest and everything in it around us. I, I, I don't know what to do about that. Except get the hell out. Yes, get us the hell out of here. I will. Oh boy. The shenanigans are thick. Do, do not like. What's this? What are you typing? Hmm. 
This receiver just picked something up. It's like a signal. It's going beep beep. Yeah, what could it be? I don't know. You gotta find out. All right, I'm on my way now. You know what I just picked up? Uh, no. A fifth of Major Bueno tequila from the creek. Are you drunk? No! I am getting drunk! <laughs> hey, D, I don't want to harsh your vibe, but maybe, just maybe, that's a bad idea. Henry, Henry, Henry. What? You're harsh in my vibe. <laughs> my thinking is I could stay up all night worried I'm going to lose my job because of the side fire, or I could not worry and let the chips fall where they may. It's not like there's any proof we were down there. My thinking is I'm going to follow this wave receiver. Ooh, I like it when you think. <laughs> ay, ay, ay. I'll just leave you alone with whatever these thoughts are. Can I go that way? Let's see. I need to go back to camp. Okay. Medicine wheel. I bet it's a medicine wheel. Bag go. Huh. <sighs> D, I, I found some sort of supply bag, light camping gear, some clothes, and you know, basics, but it was alarmed. I think that's what was making the receiver go haywire. You're okay? It's not a trap or anything? Yeah, I'm fine. But there's there's also a set of keys here. I don't know why they'd be hidden out here. They say Shoshone National Forest, Cave 452. Is that the one in the canyon? Yeah, it is. <sighs> Who the hell took them? And what the hell is in that cave? Okay, okay, let's just think. Says the woman with a half a bottle of tequila in her belly. <laughs> Maybe they're panicking and we're preparing to beat it. The fire has them spooked and we have new walkie-talkies, so we have the upper hand. Yeah, well, it's hard to feel like you have the upper hand when you're standing in the dark in the middle of the woods. Oh. Well, you're back in your tower. Maybe you need a drink, too. I'm not in my tower. I am looking at a man standing in your lookout. And it's not you? It is not me. Oh my god, go. I'm going. I don't... Damn it, I went the wrong way. Wait, I can get there from here. Actually, it'd be faster just to keep going east. Oh, you guys, this is so creepy. Punch in the face. I don't see anyone up here. He was just there. Uh oh. Hmm. Left a cassette player taped to my damn door. Uh, I don't even know what to say to that. Well, let's see what's on it. Ocean of water. 
water on it. And these assholes will spend the rest of the summer picking up the pieces. We get to finish out our contracts. <laughs> so we'll even call in the fire. Yeah, yeah, okay. I regret saying that. It's a tape of us talking down at the site. It sounds like it was recorded from somewhere nearby. Oh, Jesus. Yeah, and it sounds like we were the ones who burned it down and that it was your idea. No. We are screwed. No. Dee, just don't freak out, okay? Don't freak out. Oh, my God, what the fuck is happening, Henry? Boy. It's going to be okay. We haven't done anything wrong. Someone claiming to be Henry in Two Forks called a lookout in another sector early this morning and said that I knew what caused the Wapiti Meadow fire. Um... So, I just got off the horn with that lookout who's wondering what I know, or that I'm an arsonist, or that I'm fucking losing it. Furthermore, I bet you don't have the only tape of us from last night, so someone has evidence to back it up. We need to find out what someone's been keeping in that cave. I'm going down there now. We don't have a lot of time left out here, and if we don't find some fucking answers, when they lift us out of here, it's gonna be in handcuffs. We just, we have to stick together, okay? Keep our story straight, from the first day with those girls to the person breaking in on our conversation, everything. We just, we gotta be honest and consistent. Yeah. I suppose you're right. I know. Okay. So, the plot is obviously thickened to the consistency of Greek yogurt. <laughs> so, uh, before we go any farther, I'm going to go ahead and end the episode here. Uh, thanks for watching, guys. If you want to see more, don't forget to like and subscribe. And uh, there will definitely be more as we march stalwartly to the conclusion of what the hell's in that cave and what the hell is going on in these creepy ass woods so uh thanks for watching guys and uh, i will see you next time